I just had a message, somebody asking, how do you stay once you've recognized this sort of presence that we are? Our natural state is just this every day. You know, if, if you could say that you're aware now, if I asked you, are you aware? And you're like, well, yeah, I'm aware. That is your true nature. It's just that we take that to be um, a personal thing. We take that to, it gets overlaid by these thoughts of, well, I'm not there. Um, I need to find my true nature. Um, when we believe in the thoughts that are offered up, the invitations to separation, if we believe in them, then we have that experience. So if you're having a thought, I need to become more present, my mind's really busy. That's the experience you have. It's, um, it's just to see, well, what's there before that thought? What's there in between the thoughts? What's there when you first wake up in the morning? Oop. <laughs> what's there? Um, what's always there when you look? That's your true nature. That's your being. It's just your natural. Every day, see that um, through invitations of um, I need to be more present. I need to, it's this I thoughts that seemingly take us away from this natural space of being. But when you look, it's always there. It's just these, um, we believe in the thoughts. We believe in this, this I has an identity of um, all the story of us. When actually, what's prior to the story? You know, what's before the thoughts? Uh, I'm not there yet. What's witnessing the thoughts? I'm not there yet. It's so simple. And I know you've probably heard this lots of times, but it's so simple we miss it because it's what's already here. So what's already here right now? What's, what's looking through your eyes now? It's just that it gets personalized. It's actually impersonal awareness. And the other question that the person had was, um, so our awareness, is it really, uh, I can't remember the exact words, but is it really, um, shared or are we all one something along those lines and this awareness is impersonal so that's where the um, unity comes in because you're you're not the individual that's aware you're just awareness <laughs> there's not an individual that wakes up there's not an individual that's aware there's these expressions that um, you can have an individual experience but what's experiencing that is impersonal. It's just this <gasps> open space of being that gets personalized. It's just what's here prior to the story of you, the concepts and ideas of a you. So how can I <laughs> explain that it's <laughs> the same awareness it's the same it's an open space and everybody's appearing in this open space all these bodies are appearing in this space but it's, <laughs> we're all made of the same we're all coming from the same source we're all being and knowing you know it takes no effort to be And we don't do anything, we're just being. That doesn't mean we don't get things done. Because this does it all. There is only this shaping and patterning and forming and having all the experiences, but it's not a personal this. It's a it's it's just this that's here. Just is, you know, being and knowing. There's just a knowing, there's just being, there's just an open space. And I'm not even sure whether I'm getting this across very well. <laughs> it is a tricky thing to talk about because what happens is people see it from the end. 
they see it from the identified self and then they don't get it because they're already looking from the identified self. Now there isn't an identified self, but that's the experience they're having. So that's where they're looking from. It's only ever this looking from, <laughs> looking from there. <laughs> so this outward projection to the ever-changing world. And when you come in, when you bring your attention to the self, to yourself, you realize that this is actually impersonal. This has always been here. And whenever you look, it's always there. You know, can, are you awake? Well, yeah. Are you aware? Well, yeah. So it's this attention. If somebody asks you that, you naturally come back and check. Are you awake? Well, yes. Are you aware? Yes. It's just this awake awareness gets identified. It gets, it's believed to be um, an individual and having, um, you know, I'm aware. This I is universal. <laughs> I'm doing a very good job today. <laughs> because we just get confused if we look from the identified self. We just... I'm not going to find it there. Because <laughs> we're already in the ever-changing. We're already in the, um, the play. So... It's, that's why I'm saying, well, what's here when we don't pick up a thought? Thoughts can dance, we just don't pick them up. What's there? What's here when we just open up to the potential of this moment? What's here? What's here when you let go of all thoughts of me, my, I, and just be without thinking of doing anything. Thoughts can arise. There's just this space of awareness and it's impersonal and everything appears in this space. And there is this physical form, but that's appearing in space. There is this sound, that's appearing in space. There's thoughts, sounds, sensations appearing in space. <laughs> And if we just look, prior to imagining, prior to buying into the idea of a separate self, if you just take a step back, we drop all thoughts of a separate self and we open up to actually what's here. Well, that's all we've got to do, just look what's there when you're just being, prior to doing anything, prior to the idea of doing anything, what's here? Just this. That's how simple it is. There is just this. If you sit and just think, okay, what's here? Prior to thoughts, in that gap of no thought. Well, there's just this, just this, just this. And the attention is here rather than projecting out. There's just this, <laughs> just this, just being, no effort to be just being in this space of seeing. <laughs> so I hope this helps. I'm not sure if it does. <laughs> Thanks for watching.